is Eli from Back to the Topic, and I'm here with... Oh man, my name's LJ. Alpha X Alpha. Yeah, I'm Summer. My nigga T Banks, what's up? I'm Kiss Me Desi. My name is Brandy. And my name is Courtney. My name is Mia. My name is Mateo. My name is Mariah. Uncle Rock is no relation. My name's Jamie. Terrell. I'm Kai. I'm Marcus LaFleur. Afro Sinju. I'm Danny Lewis. Adrian. My name's Imani. My name is Cameron. My name's Andrew. My name's Kay. My name is Kai. My name's Akela. My name is Tima. My name's Zaija. Very nice to meet you. My name is Eli. I'm from Back to the Topic Podcast, and I'm so happy you guys enjoyed me on this interview. So, I want to ask you, what are your names, and what brings you to DreamCon? Yeah, so I'll start. So, my name is Mia. Um, this is our first DreamCon, uh, our first convention, so we just wanted to see what it's about, and we all like anime, gaming, cartoons, so it seemed cool. Uh, my name is Matea. Um, I learned about DreamCon from a few Twitch streamers we follow, YouTubers, and actually my sisters and siblings put me on. Um, and we we like to meet other Black cosplayers, anime lovers. It's really hard to find each other out in the, you know, out in the world. So it's nice to be around people who have similar interests. My name is Mariah. Um, I came here because I want to um, see. Okay, I'm messing up. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Um, but I wanted to come since it was like an all black event and I was interested in that and like seeing other cosplayers. Now Mariah, let me ask you this. Um, I personally, I cannot identify what character you are. For those who don't understand, you may not know, who's your character? Shihiro from uh, Spirit Away. It's like a Ghibli uh, studio movie. I don't know if you heard of it. No, I, I know Ghibli. Um, I could not. Piece. It took me a while. I looked at them like, I oh. think I might know what that is, but I didn't pay attention. Yeah. I think it's what, their top three next to Howl's Moving Castle on the yeah. other one? Uh, Prince Tessaro or Princess? Princess? Oh. Yeah, Totoro's the other one. Yeah, so I feel like they're top three when it comes to Ghibli. Mm -hmm. um, and who is your character? Uh, so my character is Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts, the first one specifically. So my favorite game of all time. So. I'm not looking for a Kingdom Hearts fan. Really? I've never played No, that's. It, so. I just don't you have to. <laughs> you have to. Obsessed. I'm obsessed. Yeah. And I think people can obviously see uh, who your character is. Want to be like your character is literally one of the ones that took off for a whole video game studio that made their whole entire career. But who are you from and who are you cosplaying as? So my name. Well, I'm cosplaying as Clementine from the Walking Dead series. Um, best game series I've I've seen in a while. So I've been like obsessed with that for a while. So yeah. arguably better than like the last five or six seasons of The Walking Dead by Yeah, time. yeah. The show fell off. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you ladies this. What, what are your dreams and what are you doing to pursue your dreams right now? Yeah, so for me, I kind of have two kind of, kind of related but not really dreams. Um, so my main one I'm working towards is a wildlife biologist and so I'm kind of I went to school for it, I worked field jobs for it, and I traveled for it, so I kind of want to focus my interests on that. And then kind of like a side passion I want to like explore is opening, like having like a farm, uh, some land with chickens, goats, and just like wildlife and being able to relax in my own space. So. Outside of domestic animals, if you could own one exotic animal, what would it be? Mmm, that's a good one. It has to be a bird because I love birds. Peacock. That is a good. That's a good one. But I will have to say a toucan. They're very cute. Oh, yeah, they're so cute. yeah, they're very cute. They toucan them. Sam, you have to have one. Yeah. Hey, you know what? A, a nice little toucan with a bowl full of cereal. Yeah. Right. And what about you? Um, yeah, I also have a couple. Um, so I, I think my main one is to kind of find a balance between like corporate and creative because at my core I am a creative person and so I like to. Um, explore my hobbies and try to turn that into something that can sustain me in life. Um, I think also just being able to slow down and find a balance and enjoy life and not have to be lost to the corporate, you know, grind. Um, so that's the main one. So yeah, I started crocheting. So I have the my, my skirt and my accessories for today, and I've been really into it. I enjoy it a lot. Hopefully, I can kind of you know go somewhere with that. And as you told me earlier, you work in legal, so people can be aware. Legal is not easy. It takes a lot of school, and it takes a lot of time. You gotta study all the time. Yeah. Uh, there are no off days no. for you most of the time. No, no. And so, it's inspiring to see the fact that like you can spend time loving your hobby, 
doing it, being a part of it, still being creative. Thank you. And balancing out from nine to five. For you, is, there is no nine to five. There's like a 24 seven period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you can balance at the same time while still having fun, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what advice do you give to those who are trying to do both at the same time? I would say try to time manage. Um, if you can do 30 minutes a day with some type of hobby, um, I try. I personally try to supplement like a hobby um, for like scrolling on my phone and like being on social media because I can sit there for hours and get sucked into a time warp and just you know waste time. So I feel like we we have some time. So it's just a matter of putting it into practice and you know. But also don't stress yourself out if you miss a day. You know, be easy on yourself. And it comes easier once if you're if you enjoy it. I feel like it's you want to look forward to it and. You know, so. And for, the, for those who don't know, uh, she again, she works in legal. Um, if she wants to be a creative, you guys can catch her on season 10 of Suits, I swear. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm on season five right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? What about your dreams? Um, one of my dreams is to tap more into my hobbies and explore more of my hobbies because since I work a nine to five, it takes a lot of my time and I get exhausted and drained dealing with customers and <laughs> yeah and I'm also like a painter I do art and different forms of art too I want to explore different forms of art and yeah Good. pretty much and what would you tell somebody who wants to explore being an artist being a creative while still maintaining because again you work customer service mm -hmm. you work retail uh, people aren't nice. I don't know if you know. Yeah, this. no. People aren't nice. They can sometimes be shitty. Yeah. You can come in a good. You can come in a good mood, and they will steal your happiness away from you and your energy away from you. So when you get burnt out, when you get tired from a long day, um, what do you do to recover? And what would you recommend to others who are the same way? Um, what I usually do is well, listen to music. I can't go a day, a moment without music. That usually puts me in the, like a mode to like, okay, I need to do something, mm -hmm. and. Yeah, I put on my music and then I get in the mode and then I just like put on like a timer. Like, okay, let's do, I don't know, sketch something for like 30 minutes or I try to at least do something artistic, like, I don't know, a set time. That's way more productive than what I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I commute home and I park in my apartment and I sit in my car in silence for 15 minutes. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm that's, you need that. Really that. Yeah, you need yeah. that, honestly. You need I don't know if any of y'all do that. Like, it, it, has anybody out there ever just sat in their car, like, just sat in silence? Like, now you're on your phone, yeah. you're like, just turn the car off, engine off. You just be like. <laughs> yeah. And just deep out. breathe. Or the walk of shame. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, no, I appreciate you, ladies. Thank you so much for being on. You're um, welcome. I will tag you all in it. And for one more time, for those who don't notice, uh, what are your tags? Where can people support you at? Where can they find you at? So I have an Instagram, it's underscore R-I-A-H-H-L-A -H -H underscore on Instagram. Mine is underscore M-A-R-I-E-U underscore. And mine is M-I-A-L-A-047. -A right, well, thank you ladies so much. I appreciate being a part of the show. You have my business card, so I will tag you all along. And um, can I catch you here next year? That's, so. the plan. That's the plan. Better cosplays, too. And I better see all professional Instagram handles for all of your creative ideas. For sure. Yes. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having me.